Sit down, my students. The professor's here, and today we're responding to something <clears throat> quite hilarious. This video will be more for comedic purposes and for your entertainment rather than an educational one, so I suggest you all to turn your brains off before you proceed. Anyway, this video is made by a flat earther with a YouTube channel named Shazwar Bhakt- <laughs> I can't. I can't. <clears throat> the video hasn't even started yet, I'm <laughs> We're rolling! Alright, <clears throat> welcome back. Um, yeah, my bad pronunciation aside, you guys will know why I was laughing so hard in a minute. Anyway, in the future, I'll make a more elaborate video on Flat Earthers, but for now, enjoy. Alright, alright, let me just explain this real quick. After you jump, ever wonder why your velocity decreases, eventually becoming negative, bringing you back to the ground? That's gravity, my friend. Gravity isn't something that prevents you from moving upwards. It's a force that constantly accelerates you towards the ground or to the center of the earth. If it weren't for gravity, you'd be continuously flying upwards towards the sky to no end, if we ignore all other forces, like friction, of course. But why, why am I even explaining this to- Yo, who gave me this video? No, a small magnet does not overpower the mass of the Earth, it overpowers the gravity's effect on those little tiny paper clips you got there. In other words, the force of the magnet is greater than the force of gravity on the paper clips, which will overall accelerate the paper clips upwards. The final result is that the paper clips appear to hover below your hand. I find it very funny that you use the very phenomenon that could only happen if gravity existed to prove that gravity doesn't exist. It's because the helium in the balloons is lighter than the components that make up air, specifically nitrogen, oxygen, and so forth. These heavier molecules will sink below the helium and as a result push the balloon upwards. Do I have to do this? <laughs> I feel like a lot of people may not understand this, so I'll actually give a more detailed explanation this time. In simple terms, when you hold up a slinky like in the video, notice how the top is stretched out more than the bottom. This is because the top of the slinky has to hold up the weight of the bottom, while the bottom has no additional weight to deal with. This is actually also how your lungs work. The top is more stretched out, and the bottom is more compressed. In fact, there's a whole subtopic of physiology for the lungs due to this phenomenon. Anyway, since the top is more stretched, it builds up more elastic potential energy than the bottom. So when you let go, the top is first to snap back into position while the bottom lags behind. This gives the illusion that the slinky is being pushed from above, when that's actually not the case. It doesn't disprove gravity, it only follows the scientific knowledge we have of mechanical energy. Moving on. <laughs> no, stop the music, it's too much. Take a look at this equation. On one side we have the force of gravity, and on the other side we have the buoyancy force exerted by the water. If the force of gravity dominates, the object sinks. If the force of buoyancy dominates, the object rises. It's not rocket science, people. Oh wait, did I mention that buoyancy exists? Yeah, that's a thing you should probably do some research on before attempting to disprove gravity. Alright, there's only a bit of video left, so let's get through the rest of it.
I have nothing left to say, but I will definitely come back to this topic since flat earthers are quite dominant on YouTube, I guess, lately. So yeah, goodbye people, for now at least. 